All right, so today we're talking about PlayStation. As you guys know, there's going to be a showcase this Wednesday, 24th at a certain time. I forgot what it is. This is very exciting because the last PlayStation showcase we got was in 2021. Needless to say, the expectations for this show are through the roof. I've seen so many wish lists. <laughs> I know they're not going to be there, but it's just fun to see the excitement of the PlayStation community. And hey, I thought I would join this excitement by telling you the 10 games I wish to see at this showcase the most. This is not going to be a prediction video because I already have a channel in which I deal with predictions and theories and all that good stuff. In this video, I just wanted to talk about the games I want to see the most, however crazy they are. So with that said, let's get on with the list. On my number 10 spot, I have Mortal Kombat 1. As you guys know, recently we got an announcement trailer for this game, and I think it would be awesome if we got to see some gameplay at the PlayStation Showcase. I'm really hyped for this game because Netherrealm and NetBoons have been teasing this new fighting style for the game, which we have no idea what it means. From the trailer, there seems like it's going to be a choice element to it, or they could just be talking about a possible single-player campaign similar to Shaolin Monks. There's also been some leaks about Homelander and Omni-Man being in the game, so... It would be really cool if we get this gameplay trailer, and at the end both Homelander and Omni-Man come clashing in a classic superhero clash. That would just make my whole day. On my number 9 spot I have the next Bioshock game. I have been talking about this game since 2019, since it was announced. And we have not seen a single thing from it yet. The PlayStation blog did say that they're going to show third party titles, so maybe this could be one of them? I don't know, look, I'm just really excited for the next Bioshock game. I'm a huge fan of the series and I'm dying to see what the next setting is going to be. Is it going to be up in the skies? Is it gonna be under the water? Is it gonna be subterranean? I'm just dying to go back to this world and start using crazy powers, man. On my number 8 spot I have the game that's most likely going to be at the showcase, Spider-Man 2. This game was announced like what, like last year? And we only saw a CGI trailer. And ever since then Insomnia Games has been quietly tweaking it to perfection. I'm sure we're going to see a gameplay trailer on this showcase. And from the announcement trailer, we said that there's going to be like a dual gameplay feature to it. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be a co-op component in which one player can play as Miles Morales and the other one as Peter Parker. Or who knows, it could be single player only and you'll be given the ability to change between Peter Parker and Miles Morales. Very similar to GTA 5. Whatever it is, a Spider-Man game is reason to be excited. Especially this one since we're going to be fighting Venom, one of the coolest Spider-Man villains of all time. Next on my list I have Bluepoint Games' new IP. Bluepoint Games is known for making awesome PlayStation remakes, such as Shadow of the Colossus and Demon's Souls. But now we know for a fact that they're working on a new IP. We have no idea what this game is going to look like, but given their pedigree, I'm just excited for whatever they're working on. If I had to pick a genre for them to work on, I would say a first-person shooter game. Mostly because Sony really needs one, they've been about Call of Duty and the acquisition of Blizzard for way too long. They need a talented studio to work on their exclusive first-person shooter, and I think Bluepoint Games is up for it. But this IP is still to be confirmed. What do you guys want to see from Bluepoint Games? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments section below. Alright, so from the PlayStation blog post, Sony did say that they're going to be showing PlayStation VR 2 games. I don't know how many they're gonna show, but at least I have to include one in my list. And given that sales of the PlayStation VR 2 aren't doing too well, I think Sony needs a big hit. They need to take one of their most famous IPs and make it into a VR game. And I think there's only two choices. As you guys know, I'm very open to the possibility of a God of War VR game. Both Spider-Man and God of War are at PlayStation's biggest IPs right now. A God of War VR game would definitely get the ball rolling and even get people to buy the PlayStation VR too. But I get it, some people say that God of War doesn't mix well with VR, I'm, I, I can see that point. So let me raise another suggestion. How about an Uncharted VR game? We know there's been a lot of weird activity between Sony and the Uncharted IP for the last couple of years. There's been rumors that they're working on a new one. There was of course a Tom Holland movie. And recently there's a ride at Port Adventure World Ride, which I don't know why. So in Sony's eye, the Uncharted IP is still valuable. So we're definitely going to get a game in the future. The question is, is it going to be a traditional Uncharted game? Or could it be a VR game? Now, we know that remakes are a big business in the game industry at the moment, so I think it's safe to say that we're going to get a remake of some kind. In an ideal world, of course, I would say a God of War 1 remake would be the dream, and even following that, an infamous 2 remake, but I think what we're most likely going to get is a Bloodborne remake. The Bloodborne remake rumors are very similar to the Snake Eater rumors as well. Every year, people say that there's going to be a remake, but this year, there might be some evidence that it's actually going to happen. 
I don't know exactly what happened, but David Jaffe interviewed someone who said that the Bloodborne remake was on its way. But it, so, I don't know. There's might be some cause to be excited here. Will it be at the showcase? I really don't know. But do I want it to be? You bet your yarn on my butt I do. Next on my list, I have a game that's almost as hyped as Spider-Man 2. And of course, I'm talking about Ghost of Tsushima 2, or how the fake leaks call it, Ghost of Kamakura. Whatever Japanese city or island we're gonna be fighting in, I don't think it matters that much. What matters the most is we're going to be reunited with Jin Sakai and his awesome samurai skills. As you guys know, I love the first Ghost of Tsushima game, but there's definitely room for improvement, and I think Sucker Punch is up for it. However, I don't think we're going to see a gameplay trailer at this showcase. We know this game is in development, but they first have to do the traditional CGI trailer, and then later down the line we're going to get the gameplay trailer. But regardless, whatever we see from Ghost of Tsushima 2, it's gonna be beyond exciting. Next on my list I have the game that I know my community is the most excited for, and that would be Santa Monica's new IP. I need to say that this hasn't been confirmed in any way, but Santa Monica did say that they're working on multiple projects. It's possible that all of these projects are God of War related, but I doubt it given Sony's company's track record. And I'm sure Santa Monica will also want to spread their wings and try something new. The most popular rumor on the block is that Cory Barlock himself is working on a sci-fi game. These rumors are based on the fact that Cory Barlock changed multiple times his profile pictures and his cover image to space-related things such as stars or galaxies. So naturally fans think that he's working on a sci-fi game. But you can never tell with Cory Barlock. This man is the biggest troll in the gaming industry. But hey, if it turns out that he is working on a sci-fi game or even a fantasy game, I am going to be really excited. Because as much of a troll as this guy is, he is also one hell of a director. And anything he makes, I'm down to play. Alright, so a while back I said that Spider-Man 2 was the most hyped game on the PlayStation Showcase. And while that's somewhat true, there's also one equally hyped game. And that would be The Last of Us Factions. There is so much secrecy surrounding this game that naturally it makes me want to play it yesterday. Recently Naughty Dog has been somewhat iffy with their releases, The Last of Us 1 Remake was full of bugs, and personally I wasn't a big fan of The Last of Us Part 2. But the The Last of Us IP is definitely one of my favorite ones from Sony, and when they said they were gonna make a fully fledged multiplayer game, I was on board from day one. I know Sony's planning to push more live service game or multiplayer games this time around, so I definitely have high expectations for The Last of Us Factions. My biggest fear is that it's going to be a Call of Duty Warzone clone. I think if they want this game to succeed, they'll really have to lean into the whole survival aspect of their series. How is that going to translate well into a multiplayer setting? I have no idea. If they really want to grab people's attention with this game, they can just come up there to the showcase and show a screenshot or a CGI trailer. They're gonna have to show gameplay. And I don't want to get you guys hyped up, but I really think we're going to see it. Now, I think all of the entries I've talked about up to this point are somewhat reasonable. They're nothing crazy like I hinted at in the intro of the video. That's why I saved my craziest wish for last. And that has to be something Konami related. Obviously, the game most Konami fans wants to see is Metal Gear 3 Remake. This is because Metal Gear 5's combat and gameplay is just outstanding, and seeing that gameplay being transferred into Metal Gear 3 is gonna be sublime to say the least. But as much as I want to see a Metal Gear game, I think I want to see a Castlevania game more. This series is somewhat similar to the Uncharted series, in which we're not getting any games, but the IP itself is still very valuable. In the case of the Castlevania series, we have this show to thank for this. And Konami themselves has said that they want to start making Castlevania games again. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the thought of having a Belmont or an Alucard in a PlayStation 5 graphics with the PlayStation 5 technology with that kick-ass Castlevania music <laughs> has me more wet than the holy water itself. Is that sacrilegious? I have no idea. You guys know I'm talking about the Castlevania item. Bottom line, if a Castlevania gets announced, I don't know what I'll do. I'm just gonna be too excited to get any work done. Just that's all I'm gonna say. Will we see a Castlevania game? I really don't know. I don't I don't even think so. I think a Metal Gear game is more likely, but hey, a Castlevania fan can dream, right? So there you have it, pals and gals. The games I want to see the most at the PlayStation Showcase. This showcase is obviously a big deal for us PlayStation fans, so definitely let me know which games you want to see the most. I've actually changed my mind and I'm gonna be live streaming this event on my main channel. It has nothing to do because I'll probably get more views or anything like that. It's because I'll get to hang out with more PlayStation fans. Totally not because of the views. 
But hey, Santa Monica's game is also rumored to be there, so I thought I would do it on my God of War channel. Because, you know, I might be... I might start uploading other videos aside from God of War. But anyway, again I ask you to let me know which games you want to see the most at this showcase. Now if you liked the video, I would kindly ask you to hit like and maybe share the video. And hey, if you like this channel, why not subscribe to it as well? Perhaps I'll upload more quality content such as this in the future. <laughs> With that said, thanks for watching, and remember, go out of the bunker and conquer.